guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 23 chat. Oh, hi. It's episode 27. Uh -oh. <laughs> I got right. the hiccups. All right. Well, last time, Tiffany won HOH. Uh, is it, though? I'm, no, I'm not saying that oh, okay. for me. I'm saying that for uh, Xavier. The Xavier. 75% of this episode, which was Xavier complaining. Yes. Oh, my God. And that was only a snippet. Of what we've seen on the live feeds this week. So Tiffany won HOH and nominated none other than Alyssa and Xavier. Okay. Alyssa is obviously the target. Although she doesn't even know it. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> I just can't. Somebody please send her a quarter to buy a clue. Mm. Claire also does not know what's coming. Do you have another quarter for Claire? It's so heartbreaking to see her, like, celebrating and all excited about what's to come this week. She's so genuinely thrilled for Tiffany winning HOH this week. This episode, oh my god, I had one of the most heartbreaking conversations I've ever seen on this show in my life. The thing is, though, I really feel like Tiffany didn't expect her friendship to be so strong with Claire mm -hmm. when she made her original alliance with the cookout. With the cookout. I mean, I think and she that... still expected it to be strong, but I think she didn't expect to be the one who would have to make that well, that move. too. Yeah. You know, she wasn't planning on being in that position, mm -hmm. um, but that's just how things worked out, which, I mean, you guys, are, if you're watching this, I'm sure you've already seen the episode. Yeah. But anyway, um, Xavier is pissed. Really? Because <sighs> Tiffany... Did not stick to... He keeps saying the cookout's plan. It's his plan. It's his plan. It was never established 100% that Claire was the definitive target for the week. No. That is what Xavier wanted. There were other people who did not feel that way. Right. But he's claiming, no, she went against the plan of the cookout. She's a selfish woman. Blah, blah, blah. A selfish woman. That's what he said? Woman. That's what he said? Wow. Mm -mm. All right. So... Xavier is pretending that he's the target yes. to Alyssa. Because he wants to keep hiding the cookout alliance. Right. All right. So if Alyssa wins the veto... Tiffany's in a real bad spot. Yeah, because there's only one person left outside of the cookout, and that is her plus one, Claire. So she's going to have to decide, do I put up my plus one, or do I put up somebody else from the cookout and possibly completely blow up my game? Did Tiffany not realize that either way she was screwed? I mean, I think she was just winning. I think she was just hoping that Alyssa was not going to win this power of veto. I mean, the chances were not like super high that Alyssa was going to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, Alyssa was crying before they didn't show it, but Alyssa was crying before the veto competitions, talking about how weak she felt mm -hmm. from the slop and how hopeless she felt, and, like she couldn't even compete. But what a coincidence, mm. the choice of veto. <laughs> I'm sure that was pre-planned, but... It wasn't... I'm sure. All right. This is not Frankie doing <laughs> the thing by himself. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well, yeah. Alyssa is trying to plan out the best way <laughs> to win this POV competition. If she gets house guest choice, who is she going to pick? She wants to go with Big D because he kind of owes her a favor. I mean, she did use the chopping block roulette power on he's him. He's not going to win anything. He's also not going to use the veto on her. Yeah. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Sure, whatever. But I think also she's yeah. thinking, there's not a huge chance that he's going to win, so that's just going to make it easier for me. Right. You know? There's not... <sighs> All right. <laughs> it's time for uh, Xavier to complain some more about Tiffany. So he's telling Big D that he is so pissed at Tiffany. And Big D is the perfect person to complain to because he also is not a Tiffany fan. So they're just in this, they're in this <laughs> echo chamber yeah. right now. Uh, isn't it all of the guys of the cookout alliance? Kylan, not they? as much. Okay. But he's not great. <laughs> but anyway, Xavier is now saying because Tiffany went against the plan... Uh, if She's he, screwed. if he wins the power of veto, he might just feel like being a dick. His words. Uh, he says he's been a team player this whole time, but... He's gonna unleash evil. He's saying he's so upset 
that if he wins the power of veto, he might just use it on Alyssa instead of himself. I'm sorry, but <laughs> Tiffany is still saying if it comes down to it, she's going to put up Claire and not a, another member of the cookout. So if Xavier takes Alyssa off the block, mm -hmm. I feel like that's a huge move against the cookout. Yeah, Especially since he is also up on the block. You know how mm -hmm. insane that's going to look? You know how messed up that is? That really just exposes the whole thing, though, kind of, doesn't it? Really? But <laughs> he is ready to burn this place down. So he says, if I win the power of veto and I use the veto on Alyssa, Tiffany's game will be ruined either way because she's either going to have to put up her plus one, Claire, and then maybe yeah. she's going to lose a bunch of jury votes or she's going to put up a member of the cookout and she's going to lose all of our jury votes. So he's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's like he took a scarlet B and put it on Tiffany. B? B, B. Oh. Big brother. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. B, B. Okay. All right. So they had a little comic relief because God yes. knows we need it right now. This has been a rough week. So we got to see the little infomercial. You know how obsessed I am with those like time life yes, I do. CD commercials. I can remember many a night waking up to those. I would just put and them you were on and watch them. Watching it. Yeah, it wasn't just like I couldn't change the channel. It was like I was watching them on purpose. It's BB twenty three music songs. What do you got? Music songs. They have a lot of great songs this season. They got do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Big Blue Couch. I'm on the block again. <laughs> Welcome to Big Brother. Yeah, I really enjoyed the dance remix of Take Your Ass Home. That was fun. But we both agreed, why was there no Say Hello to Lucius? That's like my favorite song this season. That you know had why? a music video and everything. I know. I would say Big Blue Couch and Say Hello to Lucius are my favorites this season. I feel like they didn't show it because they never introduced who Lucius was. But they did because uh, the live eviction where Xavier was unleashed. Where he from, took his sweet ass time yes, to come down from solitary Lucius. confinement. I know, but they never really explained that. They really could have, though. Okay, we had to switch out our battery before we lost our whole recap like yeah. we did that other time. <sighs> but yeah, I would have loved to have seen a performance of Say Hello to Lucius. Well, you didn't get it. I know. Well, it's we're just in time to pick players for the veto. Oh. All right, I'm up first, Tiffany, and I got oh Hannah. House guest choice. I got house guest choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I pick Hannah. I'm thinking she picked Hannah over Claire because Claire is not. <coughs> Claire has not done great. That was not, like, facetious or anything. Okay. Claire has not done well in competition so far, and Hannah's done a little bit better, so there was more of a chance that Hannah was going to pull this out. It kind of would have been nice, though, to, to give Claire that chance. Yeah. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right, well. That might next. have rubbed some members of the cookout the wrong way. Go ahead, Xavier. What okay. do you got? Uh, It's Big D. Oh. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Alyssa. Uh, <coughs> where are the chips? <laughs> oh, I got, um, Aza. Okay, so <laughs> Xavier's pretty thrilled with these picks, because mm -hmm. he figures, like, we're going to beat these people, and he's talking in the diary room, like, he's 100% going to use this veto on Alyssa. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just do not like the arrogance. I, d I never liked that. Yeah. Never liked it. All right, well, it's almost time for the Power Veto competition. Cue the... Nah, 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 yeah. Nah, <laughs> Always nah, the lullaby nah, nah. music. Yeah. And it's Zingbot. Oh, my God. How much did you enjoy Hannah's excitement to meet Zingbot? Loved it. You could just hear the joy in her screams. <laughs> but I have to say, Andy Heron today tweeted, I just need to remind everybody that Zingbot does not talk. And that it's yeah. just a person in a suit going like <laughs> and this. The, the and the sound is coming yes. through the speakers. Yeah, that's so that freaking bizarre. So weird. And I was thinking about that the whole time. That's just something that... I need a job like that. That's where so weird. Where could just be like one of those uh, dancing socks of air from wasn't, the deal car dealership. Yeah, right? Wasn't there a year when it was like so hot out that... 
they were worried about Zingbot, like, passing out, so they had to, like, take breaks or something. Maybe. I feel like that was a thing. I don't know. <laughs> All right. First world problems, I it's guess. It's California right? in August slash September, so. Mm-hmm. It's, it's September. No, I mean, I don't oh. know when it happened oh, in other yeah. seasons, you know. All right, well. There anyway. Weren't, there weren't very many Zings because there's not very many people left. There's eight people. There's eight Zings. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to go through them all word for word because that would be tiresome. But the Let's basic just idea. Condense it. Yeah, so Zingbot um, called Alyssa dim and she didn't understand that. She didn't understand her Zing, which was pretty uh, spot on. Dim. Yeah. So <laughs> Zingbot was like, I'm telling you, you're dumb. <laughs> and everybody was like, and she was just like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> no, she got it after he said she was dumb. Also, by the way, I was telling my boyfriend about Zingbot today, and he was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. No, he didn't really say that, but he was just like, what is this? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh... Xavier's up next, and he apparently has a secret crush. Well, wait, when well, Zingbot was all like, yeah, do you crush. think Xavier pooped himself when he was like, oh shit, he's gonna tell everyone I'm a lawyer? Nobody cares! Yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> everyone knows you're not a bartender, you don't stay up past 10 p.m., and you don't know what's in a freaking mint julep. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, secret crush. On himself, not Azza. Okay, because, like, <laughs> the BB Twitter account totally put out a zing for Xavier about his ridiculous crush on Alyssa, which mm-hmm. has never been reciprocated. I mean, she freaking dad-zoned him. Yeah. But not even friend-zoned, but dad-zoned. Mm. Um, but why? Wh- where was that energy here? Yeah. Where was that energy here? All right, Tiffany, she's old. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I think they could have come up with something better than she's old for Tiffany. I guess. She can't help that. I mean, she has made a lot of jokes about it, though. Like, when she had her birthday, she's like, it's my 22nd birthday. Well, Big D had to add insult to injury when he said history old. Oof. <laughs> I don't think he knows too much about history, then. Mm, all right. Because <laughs> that's not very old. No. In Big Brother times, I guess it is old. In Big Brother land. Yeah. If you're over 30, you're old. Yeah. Claire. She's a Bigfoot. Oh. <laughs> is that the best you got for Claire? I know, right? Hannah who? She really hasn't been given her due on the episodes because she does so much strategizing behind the scenes and, like, she did so much this week I even, feel like but... they just exposed her game, though. Like, hey, I don't think so. you're laying low. Yeah, I don't think they exposed her, though. Mm. Big D, this was my favorite. You really made a mark in the toilet. <gasps> Mark. No! Wait, did he actually say skid mark or did you No, I, I am. I was going to say, I don't remember them saying skid mark on the well, show. Well, I keep thinking back to that night where he, they called him for the HOH room. The HOH room reveal and, and he, he was, was in, the, in toilet. the toilet. And yeah. he was like, I was trying to push one out. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Alright. And then Aza. Xavier won't <clears throat> ever date you. She got roasted about her crush on Xavier. And honestly, like, I just want Aza to move on. I do, too. You can do better. Way better. You deserve better. Just because it looks all nice doesn't mean it is. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Kai. This one was great. This was probably my favorite. Endless babbling. He's like a brook. (laughs) The endless Endless babbling. Endless babbling. And Zingbot told him to STFU. It was very reminiscent of Tiffany's diary room session. Mm. Okay, well, that's it for the Zing. Zing Zingbot. What did you think overall? Because I thought they were Thought it was weak. I thought they were a little weak. Weak weak sauce. Yeah. I'm sure we could have come up with some better ones, but. (laughs) Zingbot's a Zingfluencer now. Oh. Get out of that game. It's not good. Are you selling (laughs) some weight loss tea or are you selling uh, what else? (laughs) You know, one of those. Yeah. He's selling a guy in a suit that doesn't even speak and just goes like this. Yeah. So, Toilet I must flush. be Big D. 
All right, so Zingbot blew up the house guests for the veto. Comp. It was a honey, I enlarged the kids. Yes, honey, I shrunk the kids in reverse. Yes. So I really uh, enjoy when they have the. Uh, miniatures yeah this was the, because they're all in the same room this was the pov competition that davon won last season mm -hmm. and i love just seeing their faces when they're like looking in this little room and their heads are huge and they're like yeah <laughs> do you think they're in a circle when they're i'm doing not this? sure what do you think they're lined they might just up? be all in a line okay i think they're all in a line okay because i'm not sure if they can actually see if other people are getting close or not. Mm -hmm. or, that would be more exciting, I, I feel, feel like. like I've heard people mention, like, monitors. I don't know what they're able to see, but right. I feel like I, I heard something about monitors at some point. Do you think that was off campus? It almost Yes, looked, it is. It is. It, is? Yeah. it almost looked like it was the diary room. Judging by no. the blue light background. But. No, that's like in that basement area or whatever where they do all those other, like, the hacker competitions and all that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, <clears throat> well, they had to build a pyramid, a champagne pyramid oh. of mini cocktails. Was that champagne? I don't think that that was from Champagne, France. <laughs> It, was, it looked like little Kool-Aid uh, in wine glasses. It was probably just drops of food coloring. Yeah. It was cool how it kind of like moved around in the glasses. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <coughs> or at least I thought it did. Maybe They had these... <laughs> Maybe it didn't. Nasty ass, long, chunky... Just some big ass tweezers. tweezers. Yeah. Like if you've got a toothpick stuck in your butt or something and you got to pull it out, you need tweezers like that. Yeah. So you have to stack up your little uh, glasses. And in a pyramid. This is a fun one, but also a frustrating one, I can imagine. 21 mini mini mocktails. Yeah, so it's like 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Okay. Everybody was super shaky. They were on this stuff like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except for Alyssa. She was she trying to... She actually had a strategy. Her strategy was to make sure that bottom row was like super tight, which, I mean... Is that really a strategy? Like, shouldn't yes. everybody be doing that? No, okay. they didn't realize. I thought that was, like, no-brainer, but... No. Okay. She definitely was the least shaky. I think so, too, She yeah. was going slow. She had a pretty good steady. command of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, she probably, like, does her eyebrows and stuff all the time, <laughs> and, like, she's really good at it. There you go. Even with those chunky tweez. Yeah. <laughs> You're not using those chunky tweezers on anybody's face. No way. All right, well... At one point, Big D had one left and blew it. Well, Lisa must have blown it like two or three times. A bunch times. of times, yeah. A, a bunch of people were getting close, and then they knocked it over. And then when it was close to the end, Alyssa and Tiffany both had like two to three left. Yeah, it was close. And Tiffany knocked hers down, and Alyssa was able to pull out the win. Oh, it just makes me think of the Brady Bunch episode when they're doing the House of Cards, mm -hmm. and they're like, Marsha, your bracelet! <laughs> yeah, so it was a real rock roll. Yeah, oh my god, Alyssa won the power of veto. Yeah. Uh oh. This is worst case scenario. This is for Tiffany's Tiffany. worst case scenario. Nightmare. Nightmares. Yeah. This is terrible. Xavier is thrilled because he knows Tiffany's done either way. It just really, like, it, you. it irked me with Xavier all like, <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you get in the diary room. Mm -hmm. oh, and Tiffany saying, hypocrite. Murphy's Law. Yeah. Everything in her life is like Murphy's Law. It's oh. like... Whatever could go wrong, does go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah. That's a bummer. So, Big D is um, not as thrilled as Xavier. He's kind of pooping his pants because mm -hmm. he's afraid that Tiffany... Is going to put him is up gonna as gonna do something crazy. Yeah, and put him up next to Xavier mm -hmm. instead of Claire. Yes. What if she puts up a boy... I'm tired of this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Tiffany knows she's what gotta, she's going to do. Gonna, she's going to she's going to tell gonna, Claire before She's going to stick with the cookout. She's going to put Claire up on the block like she said she would if it came down to this. Mm -hmm. So now she's trying to figure out how is she going to do this? Because number 1, she does not want to lose Claire's respect, even mm -hmm. just on a personal level. 
She wants to be friends with her after this. Mm-hmm. I'm sure also she doesn't want to lose her jury vote, but I don't right. even think that's the main thing here. No. Um, but she also does not want to expose the cookout because she doesn't want to hurt her allies' games. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. They didn't really get into it in this episode. There was so much going on that they couldn't show everything tonight. Mm-hmm. But most of the cookout just wanted to be honest and expose yes. their alliance Ozzo to Claire to be and Tiffany. And not Tiffany, sorry. Claire and um, Alyssa. Right. Yeah. Who else? Kylan I... was even, like, on board with it. Tiffany, yeah. of course, wanted to do it. But... I don't see what the point of keeping it a secret, except if you're Xavier. This is the thing. Xavier was the major roadblock here. He was Mm -hmm. like, I don't want anybody finding out about it, because if Alyssa finds out about it, she's going to be so mad at me. And if she wins HOH, she's going to come after me. You don't know Alyssa like I know Alyssa. That was his one of his big lines this week. Yeah, you don't know. She's going to come after me. So he doesn't want Alyssa to find out. That he's been lying to her all season until she's tucked away in the jury house. Right. Where she can't come after him. But. Yikes. Will he lose her jury vote when, I mean, if he makes it to the final two. It's tough to say. When she finds out about the cookout. (coughs) I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, it's a 50-50. I mean, she's been really receptive to... She did say at one point this week, like, even if I go next, um, she's really happy that a person of color will be winning this season. So, yeah. All right, well... Anyway. This was one of the most emotional... This ranks right up there with the... uh, Zach Diary Yes, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. from season 16. Raw <clears throat> emotion. Sorry, I had peanuts. And <laughs> Yeah, it's time for Tiffany <clears throat> to break the news to Claire. I thought she did a really good job explaining it to Claire. I wish she would have been 100% honest with Claire. Forget Xavier. Just tell Claire straight up about the cookout. And I think if she had told Claire, like, look, I really need you to keep this a secret if you can, mm-hmm. I think Claire would have done it because she's still... Wants to support Tiffany. She wants to help Tiffany out. I think she would have been cool with it. But anyway. The way she explained (coughs) it, though, was saying it without actually saying it. Yeah, she was saying, Alyssa was my target this week. Obviously, she's going to use the veto on herself. Mm -hmm. And she said, I made a deal with Xavier, Big D, Kylan, Aza, and Hannah that I would not put two of them up on the block together. Right. She's saying, I don't want to be the person... To send one of them out. Mm -hmm. And Claire knows exactly what she's saying. Because Claire is a super fan of the show. She's a live feedster. Like, she knows what's up. Um, Right. She knows what the prime directive is. Yeah, she gets it. From what uh, Tiffany explained to her. So, then (laughs) Tiffany was saying, like, look, I want to ride this out with you more than anything. But I just can't do it. So Mm -hmm. then when Claire was like, wait, you're putting me up? Ah! They're going to vote me out. That was so sad. Yes. So she asked Tiffany, are you in an alliance with them? And Tiffany says, no. But yeah. again, I don't think that Claire is going to be upset when she finds out no. about the cookout. No, not at all. Um, But that diary room from Claire, when she was saying she understands what Tiffany is doing, she understands why Tiffany is doing it, mm-hmm. and she's saying, I know a lot of people probably won't get it, but I do. I was like, oh my god. It was that, just so... That I'm was, getting emotional right now thinking about it again. That was very nice closure. It was so powerful. She's yeah. such a great ally. Mm-hmm. And it was so beautiful to see that. And she was telling Tiffany, like, I'm going to continue supporting you. Mm-hmm. Like, we're still going to be friends after this. Yeah. I can't believe I'm crying again right now. It was just so much. <sighs> it it was... They, they did edit it very well. Uh, from all well, of even the just footage. watching the whole thing raw was just so yeah. no but i mean i i think they actually did a good job in the editing oh yeah you know i think yeah. they did too i think they did too but wow i gotta give claire mad props and yeah. tiffany like they both handled it so well yeah they both really did so it was just something that we haven't seen on this show much you before. mean understanding Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just was such a different vibe, and I'm just so glad that 
Claire was so understanding about it. Yeah. It, it was really, it was nice to see. Yeah. So it's time for the veto meeting. Okay. And Alyssa uses the veto on... It's the tiny uh, veto bracelet. <laughs> ...herself. Yes. <laughs> and Tiffany nominates Claire. Yeah. Because she's sticking with the cookout. Mm-hmm. And Alyssa doesn't freaking have a clue. Okay, another storyline that they did not show because there's just too much going on. Alyssa thinking that she masterminded getting Claire up on the block this week. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just too much. It's too much. I hope we get... I don't know if there's going to be time for it tomorrow. I don't think so. But I Alyssa, think we're gonna Alyssa's get... like, I'm a freaking genius. I can't believe I pulled this off. And now she thinks that they're going to be blindsiding Tiffany by voting Claire out and keeping Xavier. It's just too much. Oh my god. <laughs> we also did not get to see in this episode, Tiffany made a last minute pitch to Alyssa right before the ceremony to try and get her to use the veto on Xavier instead of on herself so that she could keep Claire safe this week. Right. But obviously Alyssa did not go for that. I mean, I don't think... Even though she <laughs> thought Xavier was the... Target. Target. She was not going to do it. Okay. But um, I got to give Tiffany props for trying, right? She really did want to save Claire this week. This is not something that she wanted to happen here. But right. it's not looking good for Claire at this point. No, it's not. Yeah. It's Claire's going. Yeah. I mean. But then somebody else will be following her right out because. Because it's double eviction, baby. They better do that tomorrow. I, you know they will. <laughs> oh, my God. So. Double eviction, baby. Here we go. We've been waiting for this, right? We got double eviction this week. We got double eviction next week. Yes. This is going to get interesting quick. Yeah. I'm excited. Now, in the history of Big Brother. I don't think we've ever been happy. <laughs> Fully satisfied with a double eviction. How are we going to feel after tomorrow? Hopefully and good. I don't know. I, I hope so, too. I hope this breaks our streak. Do not let Tiffany be in trouble, please. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. If Alyssa wins that HOH. No. Tiffany's in trouble. We need Hannah to win the HOH. That'd be sick. Okay. Right? <sighs> okay. So, anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on the episode. Let us know um, who you want to win stuff tomorrow. Who, who you, want you want to go to tomorrow go in the double eviction? Yeah, obviously Claire is going. So just tell us who your second boot is. Yeah, if you want to tell us how you want to see it play out, let us know. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And until then, much, much love. love.